Welcome to The Grave Tapes, where I'll be walking you through how to trace your own genealogy. Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of The Grave Tapes. Um, I have been struggling making breakthroughs on the people that we have researched before, so I thought we would jump to someone new. I took this photo that you see on my screen here about maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I lived in Indiana, because I wanted to discover why they died on the same day. These two brothers, Lofton and William, uh, looks like they died on the same day. And um, I'm interested in finding out why that is. So that we'd start from scratch and just go ahead and um, input these people into my heritage family tree. Uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like to start from scratch. If we were just researching who their parents were, I feel like this journey would be a lot easier because um, that's a lot easier than finding out a death record that may or may not exist. Um, but I'm really interested in finding out what, why they died on the same day. If it was an illness, um, it would be unlikely that they died on the same day. And I believe that be both these men were married. So let's research them in the census records to see if we can find anything about their family in Indiana. Looks like Lofton was uh, spelled a little differently here than it is on his headstone. All right, let's see who his family members are. Lofton, Solomon, William, Rebecca, Martin, Rachel. Um, Rachel doesn't have an age. All right, let's see if we can find these folks in Find a Grave. Likely the Dorset Cemetery is going to appear because I know that I've added some photos to that cemetery. Let's just see if we can find any other information about Dorsets in the area. Two brothers, Dorset Cemetery. Okay, let's see who else is buried here. We've got a lot of Dorsets here. Dewey, 1792 could be parent. Um, there's Lofton. Um, let's see, there's Rachel. Could be, that's the Rachel that appears in the census, in which case it was likely his mother and not an older sister. That would be helpful. Um, James, I don't recognize. Let's click on duty and find out more about him. Let's see, North Carolina. Um, Duty's not on this list in the right age. Um, I'm, I am noticing a duty on top here, who's 26, but that's not gonna be the right age bracket for what we're looking for. It's possible that by 1850, Duty was already dead. Um, yeah, 26 is way too young. We've got a lot of Dorsets here, uh, like 21 Dorsets here. So I'm interested in knowing about that. But yeah, because Duty died in 1844. All right, let's go back to Lofton. It says his wife is Susanna. Interesting. Um, all of his siblings here, there's Solomon, recognize him. Um, let's go into Lofton's information. All right, let's see here. It looks like he was born in Chatham, North Carolina. Got some find a grave information. Lofton, different spelling of his name there. Um, 
Lucas does say duty and ritual with his parents. I don't, I don't know where that information came from. Let's see sources. So that's the census that we looked at before. I don't know where they get Edwards from. Lofter. Looks oh, Lofton. Okay, Lofton and Susanna. Um. All right, that looks like it's pretty accurate. I mean, with what we know, it looks good. So it's 1850. So they were married for nine years before Lofton died. Um, let's put in, oops, let's put in his wife. Susanna McComb. All right, let's see here. Since we do have several sources that talk about Duty, Dorset, and Rachel, I am going to add them in here. Um, I feel like you got to start somewhere, and I will continue to try to prove or disprove this. But you have to you have to start somewhere. You have to find the information and then input it. And I feel decently confident enough that the information we see here, especially with the fact that Rachel is listed. Um, in that census, then we can just input them and try to prove or disprove it. Um, we can't really see the birth date here for Rachel. Uh, it's blocked out. I'm not going to try to do the math and figure out how old she is, but it just looks like I feel confident in this. I feel confident that this is we're starting down the right path here. All right, his middle name must come from Rachel's last name which is also helpful in thinking that that is indeed the person we're looking for. So, she's deceased. Let's see, she died in 1860, April 3rd, 1861. Um, she was also born in North Carolina. And we can, we can uh, see if we can find any death records for these folks. Lofton, Bijah, Edward, Fillmore. Okay. Edward might be Lofton. He might have gone by Edward. Let's see. This looks like a death record of his son, Jonathan, Susan McCollum, Jonathan Allen, Edward Dorset. So maybe at some point he did go by Edward rather than Lofton. I probably would have too. Let's put that in here. Let's go down and click on this William here. Um, let's see if we can't find any record of him. Let's see, that looks right. Um, here's a marriage registration for him and Virginia Sims. It looks like they didn't they weren't married very long before he died, which is really sad. Okay, William, let's see. Any more information? Nope. Okay. Let's try to look up Susanna. Could be that there's some death records in her name. A lot of Dorsets here. Uh, we've got, let's see, we've got Martin, who married Susanna, and Loft, oh, it says Lofter, but married Susanna. So it must be that Lofton, when he died, Susanna married his younger brother, Martin. That's what this seems to indicate. All right, let's go in and just add as many people to this family tree as we can that we feel confident. So we're going to go into duty here and just confirm some matches and see if we can't add enough people to his family tree that we find someone with the answers for us. Alright, confirm match. Uh, let's go in here and just add all these people. 
yes, yes. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is actually pause here. Um, we've put, added a lot of people with family tree, Susanna, Mary to Lofton, and to Martin here. Um, and this will give us kind of a bigger handhold to try to discover more about Lofton and William's deaths. Um, thank you for joining me. If you decide to do some research on your own and have a breakthrough on this family, please let me know.